Hey, what's up guys? My name is Connor. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new. And um, before we start this video, why don't y'all rate my setup? My gaming setup. Yeah. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? Damn. Like, the video game community is coming for me. Anyways, why don't we just start this video, because my intros are too long. We're gonna be doing another video game extravaganza. Let's get on with the video. I really don't know how to do this video. Uh, what I wanted to do was, today I actually planned on, like, vlogging my day, but, um... Plans got pushed to tomorrow, and that doesn't really work for my schedule. I want to talk about how many video games I have that I haven't completed, if that makes sense. Alright, so here we have a fat stack of my Nintendo Switch games. And note that this is not all of them, because welcome to 2019, where we have digital downloads. I don't know what it is about me, but I just cannot wrap my head around actually finishing a game that I get. We got Smash Bros. Ultimate, which I haven't played since the last day of school. It's been about two months. Why, you might ask? Well, because I didn't have Wi-Fi and, like, nobody wants to come over and play with me. So I just, like, stopped playing it. And you may be thinking, Connor, didn't you mention how you have Wi-Fi now? Yes. Have I played it since I got Wi-Fi? No! And why is that? I don't know. It's an issue that's been bothering me. We have Super Mario Maker 2, which I'm about 90% done with the single player mode, and I've only spent like an hour playing it online. And I don't know why. I'll delve back into that in a few minutes. Then we have Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Now, I've already talked about Pokemon a lot, but this game I half wanted, I guess. Kanto ain't my favorite region, but I do appreciate it for what it is. And with Let's Go Eevee, I got a shiny on like my second day of playing it, so I'm like, hey, you know what I'm gonna do? Shiny hunt! And oh god, has that not been going well. I heard of this method of shiny hunting that isn't like the new method. And let's go even let's go Pikachu. There are four Pokemon encounters that are static. No, there's five because we got uh, Snorlax. But four like big ones. And they are the Legendary Birds, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and then Mewtwo. You can go up to them like encounter them and start battling them to see if they're shiny and if they're not you just exit out of the game reset it then go back no nope, save before you do that <laughs> and then you can just keep doing it till you find their shiny and i decided that i'm going to do that before i finish beating the game because i want to encounter these pokemon that are on the way to the elite four and I started with Articuno because it's my favorite and it's also the first legendary bird. And it took me about 24 hours to get it. And then I went to Zapdos. When did I start hunting? Let's see. It's near the end of July right now and I started near the end of December. I have been shiny hunting for seven months. Almost eight now, and I still don't have it because encounters are dumb and random. <laughs> then after a bit, I gave up and was like, all right, let's just finish the game and then we can go back to shiny hunting. Still don't have it. I did catch a shiny Mudkip in um, Pokemon Go. Then we have <laughs> Monopoly for Nintendo Switch. I wanted this because the Game Grumps were playing the um, digital version of Monopoly. I love Monopoly so much, but everyone around me hates it. So luckily with this, I can play it by myself. But the point was, it's digital, guys. We don't need to set it up. Let's play it. And uh, no one did. I, there's one piece that I still haven't unlocked because yes, it's Monopoly the video game and there's pieces to unlock. So I don't have it. Don't know when I'm gonna get it. Then we move on to Katamari Damase Rerolled. Again, I got this because the Grumps, uh, I love their playthroughs of Katamari games and I thought it would be a lot of fun. The controls are very weird. Let me just pick this up. So instead of moving by just pushing this one in the directions. No, you have to move them both. And it's 
very weird and I'm not a big fan of it. It is easier with the detached Joy-Cons, but yeah. This is another case of a game that I have not beaten yet. And I don't know when I'm going to beat it, but I just have it and I haven't played it in a while and I feel weird about it. And this is the biggest contender. Let me see if I can get this sticker off. I don't even have the GameStop sticker off of it yet. Sonic Mania. Growing up, I loved Sonic. Sonic. Sonic was one of the first video games that I had on the Game Boy Advance. It was not mine, it was my brother's, and I traded it away for a version of Pokemon, and he got very mad at me. <laughs> but yeah, Sonic Mania. I got this. I got this in like February, I believe, and I'm on like level... 8 out of 12 I think and every time I go back to play that level I just can't play it I don't know why and I haven't played it in like four months so that's the issue that I'm having I keep getting games and not finishing them or even playing them and it makes me feel so weird but like I just want them <laughs> I want to have them and I want to experience them I guess with the case of like Sonic Mania and Katamari Damase, I've seen people play these. I, I don't know if I saw people finish this, but I've seen the Grumps finish Katamari Damase, so I already know what the experience is like, but uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, before I like, I knew I wanted the game and I couldn't get it immediately. And the Game Grumps released like an hour long video on like the day after the release. And I just wanted to watch it so badly and I gave in and watched it and ruined the beginning experience of the game for myself. But I was still able to play that and enjoy it and beat it. When I still had my Wii U with me, yes I got it on the Wii U because I was stupid. That was a game that I would play when I was bored. And I don't know what it is, but like... Ever since the fire, I have just not been inclined to play video games when I'm bored, really. And it's weird. Probably because I didn't have access to my video games when the fire was first happening because I was stupid and left my Nintendo Switch during the evacuation. But luckily it survived. Thank God. Yeah, I mean, I'll still hook up the Switch to the TV in the living room and like play Stardew Valley for like eight hours. I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I don't have a TV in the trailer, which I'm working on, kind of. There's nowhere to put it, so that's the issue. Like, I thought it was Wi-Fi, but I have Wi-Fi now, and I still haven't really been playing. It's so weird to me. And the, like, main thing that brought it up to myself with, something that happened this weekend. <laughs> my sister was like, hey, uh, if you want, you can use my card to buy a game. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I looked in my uh, wish list on the eShop, and I was like, oh, yeah, I still have Celeste. I should get that. So I got it, right? And I, like, downloaded it and queued it to download and then just didn't play it for a couple hours. Why? Because I was watching YouTube, and I don't want to stop. Like, video games just haven't given me the same, like, dopamine effect that they used to. And that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop playing video games, because I still haven't finished Stardew Valley. And when Animal Crossing comes out, that's gonna be a different experience, so maybe that'll, like, help pick me up in this weird video game depression I'm in. Not depression, this weird video game slump I'm in. But yeah, um, now I'm gonna show you a couple of the games that I have downloaded on my Switch that I just haven't played. Let's go to all software and then by title. So Box Boy and Box Girl, that I actually played, got through like one of the things, but I'm halfway one of the campaigns. Currently I'm halfway through the second campaign and I just, like, have not felt the urge to play it. Format 8, this is just, like, a random game that I downloaded when my sister was like, Oh yeah, you can buy a game if you want. And this game got really confusing, so I kind of ruined it for myself and just looked up, like, a complete walkthrough of the game and then played along with it. Yeah, I couldn't figure out the true ending, so I gave up on it because I don't want to go back and figure that out. Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight is so cute and so fun, and like, I was having such a good time with it, and there... I'm stuck at this one part with this one boss enemy that I don't even know if I need to defeat, because 
the whole thing is like really open and really weird, but I was having a good time. I just haven't picked it back up since I got stuck there. I haven't played this because Wi-Fi and like I don't really have interest in playing the old Nintendo games on my Switch. Except for Kirby. Kirby was fun. That's a demo. Okami HD. This game was definitely different than I thought it was going to be. And I'm not per se disappointed in it, but it it's different than what I thought it was going to be. And I am having fun with it now realizing what it is and appreciating it for what it is. But yet again, I just haven't been playing it. This I viscerally hate now because if we just go back to total time played, after how much I've played Stardew Valley, this is still number one and it has but it has 170 hours in a mobile game on my Switch. Stardew Valley still has 40 hours, or like 35 hours to go. And that's why I hate the game. <laughs> Pokemon Tournament, it's a fighting game. And I've kind of done like all the single player stuff and nobody really wants to play with me. So that's why I haven't played it. This is a demo. I beat Shovel Knight. Um, in the campaigns with Plague Knight and Spectre Knight? Spectre Knight. And I've been waiting for the King Knight's, uh, campaign DLC to come out. And it's out. I just haven't played it, because other games, priority, I guess. This was the first game I got with my Switch. I played it with this one guy for a bit, because it was a two-player game. And, um, ain't fun to play by yourself. So yeah. Splatoon 2! I haven't been playing this because of Wi-Fi and not being able to play it. And I did play it for Splatfest. I didn't get King Rank, but... or Champion Rank, I think. But I still did play it for a bit, and yeah, I don't feel awful about that one, like I do with Sonic Mania. Stardew Valley. Yeah, I haven't played it for a bit, but I have so many hours into it and how complete it is, it doesn't make me feel bad about it. Uh, again, online, and I'm just not great at Tetris, and this one I actually beat. Yeah, all to say, I really do feel like I'm in a video game slump. I know Animal Crossing is definitely going to help me get out of the video game slump because it, that's a game that I'm going to be coming back to for at least an hour every single day. So. That's definitely gonna help, but that's not till March. That's a while away! So, I don't know, I, f I definitely feel like I'm gonna beat Celeste. I'm at this weird part right now. Uh, I've only been playing it for two days, but it feels like a game that I can beat and want to beat because it has amazing music. Like the other night, and by other night, I mean last night, I literally set up my Switch right here, plugged in headphones, and just played it like this for a solid three hours and no this is this video is not sponsored by vans i just got new shoes and they happen to be here so i use it as my kickstand yeah there's not really like any big video games that i'm looking forward to right now hopefully i'll like actually play more of mario maker because this game is like awesome i have all of ross's levels to play and yeah it was just weird because i had just gotten Wi-Fi like a day after I got the game. Yeah, I've just been in a weird slump and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Maybe you have been in the same situation. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up or a little thumbs up if you've got tiny Trump hands. Leave a comment below. Have you ever felt this way with like video games or like books or movies or something like that? You know, just forms of entertainment that you aren't really entertained by for a bit? Was it weird for you? Let me know. Or we just want to say hi because I read all my comments. And if you liked this video, me, and things that I've posted in the past and my post in the future, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Next to it, hit the little notification bell to get notified every time I post. It's every Wednesday. Alright, I uh, guess it's time to play Celeste and then Stardew Valley for like eight hours. <laughs> Bye! Oh yeah, there's my friend code if you want, I guess.